What it do, Jules Crew? What it do, what it do, what it do? Your girl is back with another video. And in this video, before y'all get started, I need y'all to subscribe, hit that bell, and comment, like, and share. Anyways, in today's video, first of all, I just want to show, y'all see how big this shirt looks on me? This shirt did not look this big. <laughs> Before surgery. So let me say that. See? Loose. It can move. Maybe my stomach filled this out before. But y'all look, I got a new faja. This faja is in a size large and I'm already in the works of needing a medium. Um this one is really good. I got it from my massage lady. I go for another massage today. Today is Monday, June. So, but it's Monday, June 15th, 16th, something like that. But, um, I'm not going all the way show the back. Again, but. I am about to show, I'm going to show my body today in this video and how a girl drives. <laughs> Cause that ain't the easiest thing. I'm getting used to it now. I mean, I'm three weeks, four weeks, four weeks post, and tomorrow I'll be four weeks post. But this is how I'm looking at my fall right now. I ain't gonna show the back because cut a little hole so that I don't always have to take this thing off. If you know what I mean. Some of y'all know what I mean. But yeah, so I just want to give y'all a quick little update. Um, things are going smoother. Recovery is going smooth. Still can't, still can't sit down for about two more weeks. Well, my massage lady actually said that I can sit down at five weeks because at five weeks is when your butt basically is what it is, is what it is. So, but I'm still scared to sit on my butt. I did sit on my butt one time for like two seconds just to see how it felt. And y'all, it felt weird. It kind of felt nasty. I don't know why. Because I guess it ain't. But it felt weird. So just be prepared for that. Because you're going to be like, Ugh, am I sitting? What the, what the is this? But anyway, so. Yes, I'm about to go put on. I'm probably just going to put on panties and a bra and show y'all how my butt look but everything else has been smooth i haven't been in pain i don't have my ad board in and y'all ain't gonna lie this week i haven't fully been doing what i was supposed to do i was still supposed to drink like a hot a lot of water to get some of this fluid off and i've been really slacking because i work overnight so when i go to work overnight i don't eat which is not good i know it's not good i know you don't have to tell me it's not good, but I don't eat overnight. And then when I come home, either I'll eat something after work, but then I don't wake up until like 6 p.m. the next day because I got to be at work at 8. So I really don't eat, which is not okay at all. I'm trying to do better, but when I'm not hungry, I don't know what y'all want me to do. So that means I haven't been drinking water because by the time it's time for me to drink water, I'll be at work and I can't be leaving the lab every 20 seconds because I got to go pee uh, like a racehorse. But I am about to this week. I'm just going to have to suck it up or wake up a few hours early and just drink, try to drink at least almost a gallon or a gallon of water a day to get the rest of this fluid off because I still swollen and I still have a pouch but I know that's because I still have fluid on me because I haven't got it off and this little like at the bottom here I'm gonna show y'all I got little like pockets where you can kind of see it but my heel my my heels my skin is healing pretty good here's one if you can really see it there's one of my scars y'all see that one I'm going to show y'all better in the restroom. That one. I'm going to show y'all all my scars. But, yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know the jugulars. Anyways, don't pay attention to my eyelashes either because I ain't feel like putting on 
today is just a chill day and I gotta go to work today. So, but yes, let's get into the body reveal of how I look now. And don't judge me, cause I know I didn't drink my water. I just said I drink, I did not drink my water. So please don't judge me. I didn't come for you, so don't come for me. Let's get it. I don't wanna show how I take this one off first as I get into that part. So, ah. again, this one is a large and it zips up zips up whatever and when I first come out of my faha I'm always the most swollen so before y'all see my actual body reveal I'm gonna wait like five minutes y'all won't have to wait five minutes but that's how it kind of looks coming out of it remember they did not do my backpack they just did the most valuable parts, which was my stomach, my love handles, and a little bit of my lower back. But coming out of it, I always like how I look back. <laughs> Baby, some used to be out there. <laughs> but anyways, let's get into the full body review. Y'all, as a disclaimer, I'm not the type of person that'll get on here and show my body like this because... I'm still getting used to it and comfortable in it, but you better be glad I like y'all because I'm about to show you how me and panties in a bra. And I don't do that, especially on social media. So here it goes, here it goes. Don't come for me too hard because I ain't came for y'all yet. Okay. So this is me at three weeks, three weeks post. So, this is how I look from the front. Don't look too bad. These still swollen if y'all can kind of see it. Um, so again, don't come from my back fat. This is me from the side. Ooh, almost there from the other side. So, so basically if I had on like a little bikini and I did not wait the five minutes like I just said I was, so this is me straight out of a faja. So again, I am still swollen. This part of my body is kind of hard. Good thing I'm going to get my massage today because let me scoot this down real quick. So yeah. I scoot it down, but okay, see, from here, this is how my stomach is looking at three weeks. But if you can kind of see, cause I can see on the video right here, it's all fluid and it's swollen. Like, you can see it, it just looks like a, and sometimes that happen after I wear my, my board. So y'all let me know, if y'all wear y'all board, do y'all wear y'all board? Okay, if your board covers right here, when y'all take it off, do y'all have like hard spots right here sometimes? Like around it? Because I do sometimes, but. This is how it looks so far. At three weeks post. Four weeks. What is wrong with me? I am four weeks post. I am a month post. So this is me at a month. And I'm still swollen. Uh, I'm about to drink all the water in the world at this point. So, but I also have my detox tea that I'm gonna try. I like my tattoo. Tattoos, tattoos, tattoos. But yeah, so I got that. As if I was wearing a bikini. Wearing a bikini. I was wearing a bikini. Just kidding. But yeah. So, this is me at a month post. Am I three weeks? I don't know. Yeah, a month post. Girl, I am so confused at this point. I'm ready to be six weeks so I can sit on that. Uh, so I can sit on that. Uh, do it. Anyways, yeah. So, now, at the end of this video, I'm about to show y'all how I drive. How I drive in the car with this. This ain't the easiest thing to do, y'all. Especially so y'all that are getting the BBL, y'all should practice this beforehand. On 
the man above practice this because this is it's not easy it ain't it ain't easy but i'm about to show y'all how i do it this is just me if i'm doing it wrong don't come for me give me advice but at this point i only have like a week and a half left and i'm about to be sitting on that but anyways let's so i'm just choosing a car or whatever to do this last little quick part so for me driving i use and don't judge me i took a pillow off the couch for my back whatever I use my boppy pillow also and my bootleg it's not bootleg my BBL pillow whatever so I put my BBL pillow down first but I usually what I do is I scoop myself onto it first so I get onto it like this Y'all, yeah, it's a process. Put my BBL pillow behind me. And then, I put this pillow behind me. Y'all, yeah, this is a real struggle. But anyways, this is how I get in the car. Then I leave my seat up, up as far as I can go. And you probably can't see it, but. Oh, my butt is not sitting on the, on the car seat. So that's how I do it. This is the real version. And this is how I look. I look stuffed in this car. Um, my head's all the way up to here. So this is not okay. Anyways. Uh, uh, Anyways, yeah. So that's that on that. It's not a long video, but those are the pillows I use. I always let my seat back all the way usually. Then I raise it up so that I can just be more, a little bit more comfortable. But driving is a hassle. I had to get into some hell. It's hot as uh, outside. But anyways, thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for tuning in. Yeah, I didn't even straighten my hair or anything before I did this ponytail. And my hair is soft. Y'all know I'm natural. That was a percent. Anyways, how y'all like my hair? Anyways, yeah. Thank y'all for watching this video. Thank y'all for tuning in. Continue to subscribe. We're going up slowly but surely and i'm so thankful for everybody that has been watching my videos and tuning in and been here for me since day one two three and years to come but um thank y'all for watching my video thank y'all for tuning in thank y'all for subscribing let me know what y'all think of my body so far um a girl still thick them thighs is thundering don't know no but thank y'all love y'all peace see y'all in the next video